Good evening. Welcome to Space Engineers. This is Sav with Abysmal Gentleman here to give you a tour of one of my very favorite ships I've ever made in this game, the Legion Assault Carrier. I've been building this game, this ship right here, since the game actually was released uh, in the early access for Steam Workshop. If you haven't actually looked at this game yet and you are just found this video because you're curious about space games, I would highly recommend getting this game because it's all about building amazing ships like this. Not to toot my own horn, but this, I love this ship. And as the game's progressed, I've been constantly updating this ship, uh, making so it's always functional. And it is what I would consider in the lines of this game a capital ship. Very heavily armed, very hard to make, even in creative mode. I don't even know if it's necessarily possible to make a ship like this in survival, but if it was, it would take a multi-person team. Um, so it, it, I suppose it would be possible. It would just take a very large pooling of resources and would take uh, probably like a good three to four entire asteroids uh, worth of metal to make because this baby is mostly heavy armor. Um, it goes with uh, a, a armoring technique that I've been using on pretty much all my ships where there's an outer layer that's separated from the inner layer. And it actually works pretty well. Um, I could, I'm probably eventually going to upload some videos uh, giving my uh, answers as to why I do certain things like this and giving you demonstrations as to why this particular style of armoring is actually very effective. Um, on a lot of different levels and this ship is near indestructible not only because it's heavy armor but because it's uh, of the way it's armored at the angled and three layers thick while only looking like it's a layer thick it's uh, pretty good all these turrets are hooked up to piping so they would be ready in survival if you were to take a projector block and build this thing and if you do that you're fucking crazy um, it has a lot of redundancy to it as you can tell from all the m very many engines um, it has a lot of engines and it it's not terribly fast and it's so massive that adding more engines really doesn't do much I even actually one point uh, downloaded the mod that was the Titan engine mod and put um, five or no I put like eight of them on this thing and it went only as fast as all these engines did so I was like well there's no much point and I kind of like having a bunch of engines even though it, I'd have to say like having two big circle engines right here would be pretty cool but if they add something like that that'd be awesome like capital ship engines that'd be cool but this is ba the basic outside to a oh, little bit of drip frame drop right there sorry about that um it's a uh, pretty simple design it actually looks like the updated typhoon in uh, EVE Online but I made this thing before that Typhoon got updated in EVE Online, so I'm taking credit for the Typhoon that's now in EVE Online. And if you play EVE, then you know what I'm talking about, and uh, take that how you want it. Okay, so this is, the reason it's an assault carrier is because it's very heavily uh, armed on the outside, so it's got like the armaments I think a Dreadnought would have, but it has the capabilities of storing a very uh, large ship inside of its hangar bay, or... Uh, multiple smaller crafts. It, you'll notice right off the bat, I have a lot of lights turned off because I found that um, with all these lights on at the same time, it drops my frame rate considerably. Like right now, I'm only uh, going around 35 frames a second. But um, it, it, with the lights off, it's a little bit more helpful. And as the game progresses, when I first had the ship, every, I was running at like 15 frames a second, and it's gone pretty progressively up which is amazing to me because eventually it means I'm eventually going to be able to use this in battle scenarios and I was actually able to pit two of these uh, against each other at one point and uh, it only dropped to about uh, 20 frames a second with all their guns going all their guns except for the missile launchers once the missile launchers start going it they all went haywire but this this is a fully functional door right here uh, whoops it um just keep out whatever's on the outside and I got this little warning light set up here to kinda like uh, if the door is opening and you're trying to get all your personnel out of here or whatever it's like you turn that light on first uh, if it's being controlled from the bridge let's say before you open this up if they ever add pressurize, uh, pressurization in this game that would be something that would be good because if you're out here and maybe you didn't have your flight suit on or whatever you could just be like oh shit and run over to a locker 
and get on. And one thing you'll, you'll notice is this, uh, this ship has a lot of empty space in it. It's because I've saved a lot of this space. Uh, well, not in here. This is a hangar. It's supposed to be empty unless it's filled with ships. Uh, I've saved a lot of space for um, when they inevitably add more to this game, and um, I hope I I will re be able to continuously update this ship. So this is uh, the first staging area, and I had it in the mindset that if, uh, let's say, the ship was ever crippled and unable to move and eventually was getting boarded, they'd have to first get past these guns and the guns in the hangar. Let's say you got those past those, and um, there are these platforms right here for uh, cover, so you guys can be behind here, uh, taking cover, taking shots, killing people as they come through that door. Because that's the only entrance, unless they cut their own hole, which is very possible. Um, we'll save those for next. We'll just do a straight run to the back. I've got four defense turrets right here, because this right here is the bridge. Uh, double doors, bridge. It's a pretty simply designed bridge. I actually should update it at some point. Um, compared to some of the other ships I've made, the bridges are a lot more extravagant and interesting. I have a theme of going with blue for my bridges, and um, yeah, that's this is the bridge. Multiple uh, things like this, because eventually I'd like to. S you, each person here could take control of an individual missile turret, because those missile turrets are kind of crazy on their own. Uh, going back here, kind of like a, an armory is what I would consider this to be. A lot of small containers where your troops could uh, arm themselves up before going out here, or. Um, Actually, I guess that doesn't make sense. I don't know why I hadn't planned for this. This I could probably clear out this area. It's just another room, really. And then going back here is the engine room um, with a lot of reactors. Like I said, I, I when I build these ships, I think about redundancy as the key because it's a military vessel. So having multiple reactors, let's say they punch a hole and they're able to get a shot in and blow up this reactor right here, I'm still operating at, uh, well, only drawing like 30% uh, power. Which seems excessive, but when you think about it, the more reactors you're going to lose in a fight, if you have one reactor after a fight, you're going to come back here and be like, well, thank God I had that over abundance of reactors. And you have access to all of them, so you could have people back here, let's say a reactor took a hit and it uh, went into an unusable mode, you could have people welding them back up or whatever. Gravity generator and all that stuff. Red because, I don't know, it's, it's an important area, color-coded it kind of. Going back up here... Back through the bridge, back through whatever that room is. It's just quote-unquote armory for the bridge personnel, I suppose, because I remember there being another armory up top. Um, it's mirrored on both sides, so going through that door just leads us to the same place. Going through here, got uh, more pipings, more connectors like that, leading up to the turrets and stuff. Um, they snake their way through the entire ship. It's very... The turrets, usually, all the turrets have uh, multiple connectors going to them. Again, that redundancy idea where if any one of these pipes is severed, there's uh, another route that the ammunition can take, the missiles and ammunition. This is kind of like a, uh, just a cruise, crew quarter. Uh, real basic idea. I kind of had some cots set up here. I don't like to do mods on the ships I put in the Steam Workshop just because I like to have them be usable without having to wait a long time for all the mods to come through because I, that's a pain in the ass for me when I download something from the workshop and it's like oh boy I can't wait to play this and then I gotta wait for all the mods to download and then sometimes the mods don't work or one of the mods is corrupted and you can't even use the entire ship or it doesn't look right this is more of an armory right here crew quarters is right behind us um, I think it's stacked too deep as far as the small things go so you can get right up there and they're all upside down I just realized that well great ignore that um, and then up here is uh, more storage because this mostly has just small containers because when I was going back through and I realized oh shit I need a place for all my ammunition I uh, I uh, realized I couldn't really fit any large cargo containers there are a few but not many this thing is basically meant to go and be on long hauls it's it's a capital ship it's the flag the flagship it's it's not meant to need support it it is the support, so it, that's why it's got so many cargo containers. It's kind of like a medical room as well, um, for personnel and that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, you'd respawn up here, so you can get right back into the fight. Run right back down here. If you don't have weapons on, you can restock right here. Keep going, keep going. Just run, 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 and that's all cool. Um, now, uh, now let's get to flying it. Show you guys uh, what it's like. Um, I could have done engines behind engines. I know some creators out there will do stuff like that. So here it is in the uh, what it looks like from the bridge. Um, 
get an idea of how many weapons it has. It has quite a few because, again, it's a it's a capital ship. It's supposed to be able to just come onto the field and everything is going to regret engaging the opposition when this thing gets here. Um, so let's open this back up. You have your ability to open your doors there, turn off and on the missile turrets, turn off and on the Gatlin turrets, turn off and on the inside turrets, and uh, that one right there extends the uh, dispenser and the collector. Um, oh, looks like that one got fried off at some point. Oh well. But uh, the collector is not really necessary anymore since the dispenser kind of works, or the, not the, uh, the connector works in the, as a feed tube. And I do have uh, particular ships that I meant to feed that. And it looks like there's a little bit of warping right there, but I don't, I don't really care. Okay, uh, so time to take this thing out. As you can see, it's extremely heavy. It's 150 million kilograms, which is ridiculous. And it only ever draws 20% power when it's moving forward. It's not the most maneuverable ship because, again, it's a capital ship. It's not really meant to be whooshing around the field. Um, I had toyed with the idea of putting a gravity drive into it, but it just doesn't seem like it should be able to just run around that quickly. So it, it's not very fast. It's, it's kind of sluggish, but it's got a lot of stopping power. And let's give you an example of that real quick. Okay, so we're back again, and we got our enemy ship here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be turning on all the guns here in a second. It's just your basic military escort ship that uh, you find in a lot of your survival modes when the ships are allowed to spawn in and all that. So let's kind of get ourselves in position here. Uh, let's say that... Oh, it's firing on me for some reason. Well then, let's aggress back. And, yeah, right away, it's like, it was a bad idea for him to do that. And you see the missile turrets kind of hurt themselves, which is annoying. And they just, they, that entire road just cleared itself. But, um, I'm hoping eventually they get a little bit more stable. Um, the Gatling guns, though, they are just tearing this thing apart. <laughs> Let's get into a position where my other missile turrets can kind of start working on this ship. And they're firing at my own ship. You dumb turrets, you. <laughs> The AI needs to be better on this thing. Okay, so it just... It literally just cleared that ship. In a matter of seconds. So let's turn that off. Uh, let's T out of here. And let's get rid of the ship in general. Um, actually, no, because let's see what damage I suffered from that thing firing on me. Uh, with its scrawny amount of turrets. It's pathetic, lowly amount of turrets. That can never compare to the amount I have. Um... So I think that wrinkle was there from uh, when I accidentally closed the door earlier before I started the video. But it looks like a uh, little bit of hull damage there. Um, easily repairable. Uh, the In fact, the only thing that looks like I caused myself more damage by clearing this cluster of turrets, I think I probably have to kind of delete every other one because they're probably too close together. Um, again, this is a constantly evolving ship, so I might do that down the line. And let's take a look at our enemy ship here which is in pieces. It is a shell of what it was. Uh, it, it's just, it's, it's demolished. It is, it is shredded and it is dead. No power source, no nothing. It's, it's gone. <laughs> but and it, it's obvious that that's the turnout that would. It's just, it's always cool seeing uh, your ships in action. So thanks for watching the video and uh, taking a look at my, ship. I hope this gave you some ideas, um, maybe the armor style, anything like that. Um, and if you want to take a closer look, or fly it around for yourself, or maybe even try and have some fights in it, it is on the uh, Steam Workshop. Uh, link will be in the description. Uh, feel free to uh, subscribe to it, download it, and modify it, do whatever you want. It's, uh, it's the community ship now, once it gets on there. Um, so, I will see you next time.